This is fire log pose. It's a hip opener. And I'll show three stages. Start first with your legs out straight and hands behind you. I'd like you to roll your thighs into the floor and lengthen in your torso the side body and lift in the heart. Just a basic ready position. For fire log, bend both knees. Use your hand and bring the foot and ankle up on top of the knee. Flex this foot hands behind you, and this is the stretch. This can be a, a really great stretch, especially if you're tight in your hips. A second stage to go a little bit more deeply into the pose is to take the bottom leg and cross it underneath you, and you come more to a seated posture. Hands behind you, and you'll create a natural curve in your low back to fold forward and get the uh, stretch in the hip. It's lift the low belly, take your rib cage back so you're grounded in your sitting bones and come forward. You start to feel the fire of the pose, the stretch in the hip. Stage three, a more deeper expression of the same pose is to stack the shins. And this is where the pose gets its name, fire log. Your shins are logs which are stacked and the pose creates a lot of intensity when you fold forward. An uh, important detail, the tendency is to have the foot more towards the inside of your body. And you can see this is not a great position for your ankle. I call this sprained ankle pose. And you don't want to practice sprained ankle pose, weakening the outer ankle. So slide it off, flex both feet, start with a natural curve in your back. Second is to lift the low belly, rib cage goes back, and fold forward. To go deeper, it's lift the low belly, rib cage back, and take the torso down. Breathe into the intensity of this pose. And inhaling, bring your torso up.